Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this unique early edition of the Status Chat for August the 23rd, 2024. I am Dell Delbridge, Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This is that Status Chat. Now, what's different about this is I'm going to take this computer apart and it may not run when I get finished. If at any time I turn BitLocker on and that little secret key is hidden in the old birthing person's board, when I take the drive out and I put the new board in, it may not run because it's encrypted and it won't let me see that data. Now, I don't really understand how BitLocker is supposed to be so great if I can get into a computer through a password and activate the computer, I can read whatever's on there. So locking it behind a huge key mystery key that microsoft is in charge of i'm not sure how that really is for my safety to quote something from the 1930s so i'm going to read to you a post that i put on my private page on facebook because i, I it's cheap and easy show prep but i think there's some value in it you'll at least know how i think if you like this content, please go to calldelltosell.com, find the tab that says on YouTube, click it, and it'll open up a page of QR codes. There you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page, or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC. There you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when each Friday's blog has been uploaded. Thank you. It starts. You can tell Powell is a politician because I just finished listening to his Jackson Hole speech. Jobs are still good, parentheses, historically low unemployment is below 5%. I added that. Inflation is down, and despite the recent blips, he expected it to continue. He did mention that a surge in workers unexpectedly kept the jobs hotter than anticipated. He said... The time has come to ease monetary policy, but ended it with later on this year. Another definite maybe, which I expect the equities and bond markets to love, responding positively to hearing that rates are on the table, but not here yet, just yet. If foreign investors hear and see lots of drops starting in September, they might pull their money out. Markets will likely fall, parentheses, although not it's like the Bank of Japan's rate action earlier to save the yen. The markets tripped out. The markets want to hear not now, but definitely very soon is my point. That has led mortgage and housing market movement. People betting the Fed. He said, no, he didn't say September. I'm thinking jolts, he's waiting on the jolts report, which is job openings and turnover survey. And he didn't say stay the course. So it's still up in the air. And we hear what we want to hear. I mean, that's just human nature. Zero to 50 basis points is my base case for September. And no, I don't think the decision has actually been made. I think it's going to depend on that jolts report. I think it's a bait to see how the markets and companies respond. An actual drop in Fed rate of no more than 25 basis points is, or would be, a strong signal that he's staying the course. He rehinted at a soft landing, by, although he didn't really say so. Housing surged last month on lower rates without a Fed cut, and the fall-throughs also rose. How many were due to recession fears, and how many were on hopes of off-the-mountain precipitous drops in rates? Jay Powell hints and markets respond. My gut feeling is dropping the rates will increase demand that will increase prices more than negating the mortgage rate drops. So my closing note is this. When? Maybe September, a small one, just to keep the spark of the gold rush prices from reigniting into a huge conflagration. Remember, prices more than rates are keeping homes out of reach and that cheap money and inflation is what spiked the prices in the first place. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at our numbers from last week. Hello, I'm Del Delbridge of Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room, then go over to my new YouTube channel, Call Dell to Sell. That's one L and Dell, no spaces. Watch the demo on Real Scout, and then call me and we'll set up your exclusive ad-free account today. 
8 16 2024 we had 22,805 in the opportunities that rose over the previous period 4172 were the under contracts still showing that also wrote and the ratio between those stayed at 18 percent this week 23036 were the opportunities and 4175 were the under contracts still showing that is up by three so we grew more in opportunities than we did in the under contracts and yet the ratio between them didn't change from 18 percent i hope you have a good and safe weekend and let me get this thing posted let me know in the comments what you think we'll know in a few weeks what actually happens and we won't know it before then because i don't even think the committee knows what they're going to do just yet. I really think it's the same old pep talk ahead of the meeting to see what people are going to do. They test the water with their toes to see what's going on. And as much as we really, really want to see our rates come down for commercial debt, our credit cards, everything else, it's going to be a real sticky wicket to bring the rates down without triggering panic and fear in the markets that, and this includes foreign money, that the dollar is going to fall even further on on a kind of stimulus, the quantitative easing. So appreciate you watching. See you next week.